everyone welcome back to curious bites this is one of the most requested videos on our channel free resources for gate computer science preparation we have put up all the resources which we felt from our experience could help you we have put them up all together in the gate sheet by curious bites which will be linked down below in the description box let's see how to use this sheet and all the mentioned resources in the sheet the right way So this is the gate sheet. In the first section, we mentioned some important links. Uh, you can also find the link of this video here, which will be updated later. Other than that, you can find the link to 2024 official gate syllabus here. We'll update it to 2025 once the syllabus is out. The next section is preparation timeline. My preparation timeline and what I did and when I did has been explained in detail in this video. You can refer to that video to plan your preparation. In an overview, your syllabus, if you start in April, you should focus on completing the syllabus by November end. During this phase of syllabus completion, you should definitely make short notes, do cyclic revision, solve some multi-subject and subject tests and solve pre vacuums practice them after your syllabus is complete you can revise for three full months that is december january and february and you should start giving full length tests by mid august the next section is the subject sequence again the subject sequence has been explained in detail why you should follow this sequence and what subject should come before a subject in this video you can refer that video for that the sequence which has been discussed in the video has also been mentioned here this is the sequence which we discussed along with that we have mentioned the time which you need to cover each subject and if you start preparing in april till when can you complete the syllabus if you want you can make a copy of this sheet and add your time when are you starting a subject and when are you getting ended up with that subject if there are some changes but keep in mind your syllabus should be completed by 30th november that should be your end goal there's an alternative to this sequence when you do the maths throughout along with all the subjects which has been mentioned in the video finally the last section is the free resources so first we have mentioned previous year questions which you will be required to practice this github link has a book which has three volumes which has been curated by gate overflow and it has all the questions topic wise with solutions you can definitely refer to this for previous year question practice but it has only up to 2021 you can use this to your advantage by leaving the questions of 2022 to 2024 so that you can practice those papers as full length papers it will really help you and it will make you familiarize with the gate environment when you get new questions and new long questions so those papers you can find in this link before moving to the other resources i would like to mention that you should definitely buy a test series it will really help you generally a test series costs less only and it has subject tests multi-subject tests and a lot of full length tests and it also tells you your rank and all the statistics how you performed in each subject i during my time bought two different test series because i needed variety of questions if you follow only one test series we get used to it my recommendation would be to buy two test series or if you buy one test series you should look up for free mock tests of different coaching institute which are generally conducted from august it will help you to see variety and you'll be able to face new questions questions more confidently moving on we have provided all the standard books which you could use for each subject the NPTEL lecture links for each subject and geeks for geeks notes for computer science all these three sections our recommendation would be to use them for selective topics only like if you are studying some subject and you're stuck at one topic you're not able to understand that you can selectively search that topic in standard book or in NPTEL lectures or in GFG notes and understand that. But we would not recommend to go through them entirely. Like we would not recommend to read a book entirely for gate preparation. All these books, all these lectures and these notes are very good, are very in detail. But if you are preparing for gate and you go through them entirely, it is not recommended because gate has a deadline to prepare. Finally, there are some YouTube playlists for each subject, which we have linked here. For a few subjects, we found two good playlists. So we have linked them. You can refer to anyone. So that's all about 
about the sheet. One thing to note is that you can definitely prepare for GATE without a coaching institute and you can get good ranks under 100 ranks as well by preparing on your own. But you need to invest the extra time and energy which coaching invests on you. How you need to do that? Let's say you study a subject, you are completed with that subject. You should go back to the GATE syllabus. You should verify that you have completed all the topics or not because in coaching, coaching does that for you, right? So you need to verify every topic is completed or not. If some topic is missing, you should go and study it from some other resource. You should find it out. This could happen also while you are giving the tests. Let's say you buy some test series, you find some new term while solving a question. So you should go back again, check if it is a part of syllabus and if it is, you should study that on your own. So that is it for today. It is high time when you get serious about your gate preparation and you get disciplined on it. Try to follow the timeline of each subject according to the sheet and make sure you complete the syllabus by 30th November and you start giving full length tests by mid August. Until next time, stay curious and keep progressing.